So uh, originally I started work in Singapore. I was an engineer there in the oil and gas industry. And in 2014, uh, you know, they got another price war between the Arabs and the US at the time. And I worked for an American company, so I got laid off. So 2014, and I joined another oil and gas company and within six months, they laid me off again. And then that's when I give up. So I returned back to Malaysia. I, I wrote an article about how I got laid off. Um, and uh, I started my Airbnb business. So which is the place that you're seeing here. Uh, it started from one unit and then I managed all the way up to 10. Uh, it was me and I had two uh, housekeeper to help me out. So uh, business was already kind of declined on 2019, but during 2020, during the COVID thing, and that, that was just the final nail in the coffin. And I don't see uh, tourism or anything that relates to events uh, going to recover anytime soon, especially this year. I, I doubt that live events, forget about it this year, you know? So that's why I decided to just pull the plug. I got my money back from the deposit and all that. So it's not too bad for me, but uh, yeah, it's still the, it is the end of uh, my Airbnb venture after five years. I did manage to get a bit of uh, a stimulus during uh, the first few months of PKP. It wasn't a lot. I, I don't think it really helps out quite frankly, because my business already closed down. It, I don't think it will help out the business, but it would help out me to buy groceries. Yes. Everything is very risky. Right. I am, am weighing in my options. Should I get a job? Should I start a business? So I'm, I'm looking at both of these at the moment. So in terms of jobs, I was a former engineer and I don't think I want to be an engineer. I don't think it's my thing. I mean, if I knew earlier, I wouldn't even be an engineer, but you know, typical Asian parents. So when I was stuck during PKP, I wanted to start another business, but I didn't know what, right? But then being stuck in my room for like three, what, three months, four months, something like that, I was bored out of my mind. I didn't know what to do. So I had this website for my old Airbnb business that is used to get direct bookings, you know? And uh, I repurposed that into a blog, so which is the blog right now. And I just like to talk about personal finance. And that's how it started. And then, uh, it, you know, some, after a while, apparently some people like my writing. And I thought, oh, maybe I could be a writer. So these are the jobs that I was looking for, is either a uh, content marketer, digital marketer, something along those lines. And um, the highest job that I could get before PKP was 5,000 ringgit. And that was a technical writer. So you were a writer, but you write really technical stuff. So as a back, as a as engineering background, it really suits me. I, I don't think a lot of people can handle it if it's too technical. But I turned it down at the time because I thought it would get better. <laughs> mm. Little did we know, the whole world crumbled.